hello everyone. It's been a while. I have been sick. Yes, um, let's see, I can't remember how long it's been. When I get sick, I go into these black holes where time is a non-entity. <laughs> I don't even know what day it is. I think it's Wednesday. I usually do videos on Thursday, but today I'm feeling good. I am still sick. You know, um, when you're sick, and then you kind of come out on the other side and your body's still doing stupid things, trying to deal with the virus that you have. And you're like, okay, either get better or get sick again. I'm tired of this in between nonsense. Anyway, that's where I am right now. <laughs> um, but happily, I do feel like I'm getting better. Um, it's sunshiny today, it's not rainy. And so I thought, you know, I'm gonna hop on here and do a quick video because I feel good. After this, I'll probably have to go take a nap. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the dining room table. I wanted to share with you a recent acquisition that my friend Amy Barrick alerted me to. Thank you, Amy. She is on Instagram, Sunny Side Up Sewing Bee. So go check her out and I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if I haven't said it before, I'll say it now. Not only do I love finished products like purses and quilts and I'm looking around my room trying to get ideas of what I like but can't think of anything right now but uh, not only do I like the finished products of um, antique items from the Victorian Edwardian to 1920s 1930s era but I simply find items that, that are in the process of being completed or a craft project. I love them so much because it's, it's evidence that someone back then wanted to make this item and so they either got a kit or they got a pattern and bought the items to, to make said product and that is what is in here. Ah, it's a purse kit. And I'll, I'll show you the name when I pull it out because, of course, I can't remember it. But ah. yes, hello, Rosie. She's out there checking out the squirrels in the backyard. They're taunting her. It's hilarious. <laughs> but a little bit of backstory. So when my friend Gwen Alger still had a Something Special Antique Store in Meridian, Idaho, I was in there one day um, right before she closed the store for good, which is a sadness because I love the store. Anyway, this lady came in and told this story of a purse kit, and I don't know if it was a Whitey and Davis purse kit, but it was from the Edwardian era, and it was her great-grandma's. And it came in a box, and it came with all of the beads, uh, the background that you would have sewn the bead on. I believe there was a clasp and some beads, and instantly my mouth started salivating because of the oh, please tell me that you're going to sell that to Gwen so I can buy it from Gwen. <laughs> but no, she said I'm going to be giving it back to whatever company it was that had sold the purse kit. And I got so sad, forgot about it until a couple weeks ago when Amy sent me the link to an eBay uh, auction, an eBay auction of a purse kit and I went oh my kitty aunt please lord don't let anybody else bid on this kit because for the museum it is a fabulous um artifact of something from the Victorian Edwardian 1920s era of course I instantly went into mad research mode because I want to find all I could about the kits of course I could not find anything much to my irks Irksome, much to my chagrin, no, much to my sadness. We'll just go with that. What I will be doing is when I'm better and I head to um, the Antique World Mall, they have a fabulous um, library of um, research there in their back. And I'm going to go see if they do have any books on purse kits or if they have a, I know that they have books on purses, but if in these books they have any information on these purse kits. So um, I have out here, just to show you, this is a lovely beaded purse that my friend Nikki Cook donated. And it is, um, if you could, I'll show you. You know what, I can lift this up because hello. 
Let's see, can you see that? Right here you can see that there is a, a cloth background that this, this was used as a guide to make the purse. This is so beautiful. What a beautiful purse. Oh my gosh, it's so lovely. And then, and of course this has the, the clasp up here with the, the kissing clasp. And then on this side, this was found in my great aunt June's house. And this was um, in a trunk that belonged to her grandma. So it is quite old. And then if you watch the movie Titanic, there is a purse that is this shape. And this is, if you can see, this has been crocheted and then the beads have been added as as you crochet. But I got these out because they're both in the the um, style of a a class, not a class. Yep, left my memory. But they both have this this kissing clasp up here. Now I have these out because I don't know. Um, this style does not look like it would have had a class. It looks like a drawstring purse. But let me get it out and show you. It's so exciting. It came to me in a cigar box, which is fantastic. But look at this kit. It is Asbro. A-S-B-R-O. I have done some research on the Asbro brand and they were still making purses at, into the 1930s, I believe, 1950s. I don't know. I'll, I'll get some pictures and show you after I film this. But here is the purse in um, this one, as you obviously can see, was not finished, which I love because it shows you how it was printed and then the colors, you know, you could, you've got the, they look like pansies to me, um, but you've got the flowers and then you've got the ribbon. Then you've got these cute little flowers up here. Now see this right here. This is why it, I, I, I kind of think this was a drawstring, but then I'll put this over here and this one is completed. It is not, um, so you can see how the top has been folded over and sewn down. Look at that, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> All of that sewing, oh my land. When I did the, um, the uh, Cloud Worth dress reproduction, I did a lot of sewing on of beads that were bigger than these, so I can't even imagine doing all of this. I probably would have lost my eyesight. Anyway, so you can see on this side, this looks like it could have been a drawstring, but then I don't know how easy this would have been to, yeah, that's not, that's not scooshing up when you pull the strings together for that drawstring. So. I don't know if this would have, and, and it didn't come with a clasp. You know, Well, at least it did not come to me with a clasp. It may have come in the original kit with a clasp, but isn't this, I love this so much. I find this so amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hmm. And then it came with all of these glass vials of beads. Oop. Go get that squirrel, Rosie. So it's got these um, very pale, lavender-looking looking beads. Let's see, can you see that pretty well? And then, you know, I don't see any white. These, this may have been another purse kit um, that this these white beads went to, but there are a ton of black beads, black bead vials. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, 21 vials of the, the black beads. Now, these are black. I, they have been in here so long that, um, you know, and tumbled about that, I don't know. Let's see. 
no, that's not going to open. I did open several of these when I, um, cause a couple of the, the vials had a whole bunch of the, um, the beads mixed together and my OCD, I wanted to separate them out. So I separated them out, but I did open several of these on the, um, the felt uh, fabric that I had to keep the, the beads from rolling away. I opened several of these up and just rolled them around. And yes, these are black beads, but they've been in here and tumbled around and they've gotten dirty. Probably just from, you know, the glass rubbing together and, and breaking off and whatever. But yeah, there's there are a lot of black beads in there. You've got these, you've got two shades and th these are these are not shiny like these are i don't know what you know i should do some research into beads the terminology but these are not see-through like these little tiny seed beads and then you've got these that are more these are darker more like a plum color and then these that are quite bright Will you open up? <laughs> Let me see if I can get one to open up without breaking the corks. Oh, here we go. Yeah. That was fun. So I don't know if, of course, because this doesn't talk and I can't see into the past, I don't know if all of these beads were for making uh, purses or if they were for jewelry making or other kind of handicrafts. Um, I do know that there are a lot. Oh, and it came with this cute little thimble. Little tiny. <laughs> and then um, on this one is a, well, that is not coming out. It has been rested in there, but there is a, a needle in there. So yeah, I don't know, don't know what caused her to stop making the purse, but at some point in time she did and just put everything into a box and now it has come to live with me and I am so very excited to, to be the new caretaker of this purse kit. It's going to be a neat education tool, I believe, in um, learning about purses and their construction and all that good stuff. Oh, I wanted to show you. Again, I this is all that came in the kit. But if you look at the inside of both of these purses, they're lined. This one was made in Germany. So they are lined with silk. Um, that one is, and then... This one right here. Isn't that fun? I've got to repair this because it... It came to it came out of the trunk with them, this being damaged right here, but they both have linings, and so I would assume that this kit would have come with a lining if it was a a clasp closure like the other two right here. It would have come with the clasp. If it was a drawstring, it would have come with ribbon or string anyway. Isn't this fun? What a wonderful. Um, item to have from the past. All right, guys, I hope you have a splendid week and hopefully I will be doing another video next week. Hopefully I will feel like a human next week because um, I'm tired of this. I do not have time for this. This is not on my, my list of things to do, obviously, is be sick. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good day and I will chat with you later. Toodaloo!